Welcome builders, Andy is your day. welcome back to the channel. It's hopefully inspiring you to build in Minecraft because we get lots of ideas from our community. I am turning a village into a town, episode 25. Bit of time lapse to start off with. In the last episode we put down, we slapped down the town hall right in the middle. So we're going to tidy up around the edges, that's for sure. In today's episode we're going to be building a market and also marking out plans where I'm going to be putting an inn. An inn where people can come and stay in the village if they are visiting from the nearby village. So I hope you will enjoy that. Hey, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for constant updates about what I'm doing in Minecraft. And you can also send me ideas and pictures of the things that you are building. So it's at Andy is Yoda for Twitters. Alrighty, so just going to spin the camera around here and just tidy up in front of the town hall. Going to pave the whole area in polished Andy is Yoda site. And then add in a couple of these nice wee statues at the front. I think these are really cool, designed by Toby. And we're going to slap them down. Going to maybe make mirror images of these. I've put them at absolutely identical. I think later on I'll make them kind of mirror images to make them a bit more symmetrical. Either side of the entrance leading up towards the town hall. Alrighty, just uh, making a little kind of square space here and that's a place where a build can go so that kind of oblong cut out into the into the grass there i can put a building in there i don't know which one i'm going to put in there right now so if you've got any ideas we can just slap a building in there as well okay uh next i'm going to kind of just mirror that towards the other side to give a bit of a <coughs> excuse me uniformity and um Symmetry. So I'm just going to slap this across here, copy and paste it. Yeah, and it gives a nice bit of symmetry right in the middle of the town. The town's quite higgledy-piggledy so far. Things slapped about willy-nilly, but we are trying to go for a bit of formality, a bit more of a bit of town planning, if you were. I am removing some of the landscape here. It's not too much. I hope I want to retain a lot more of the landscape kind of further out from the village, but we can explore further out towards the sea as well, which is really cool. Okay, I think it is now time to get on with building uh, a little market. So now we can have a look in first person, just fly about. There's plenty of room, isn't there? Lots of things. There's something that can go. Maybe I should just place like a, a head. I've got these fruit heads here. Um, something can go here. We could have a building here. I think over here, definitely going to be a giant, a big tavern. Um, not a tavern, an inn. An inn, like accommodation where you could stay uh, if you're a visitor. Uh, and probably another sort of gate here in to get into the back way of the tavern like that. Going to be doing the markets in a few seconds. These are going to be where the markets are going to be under here. I think these are kind of arches or something you see in a lot of cities, especially in the UK where you've got this kind of bridge or road and, and space underneath it and there's arches. And there was oftentimes markets under there and even times in, in modern cities you get these markets kind of reopening again. We can have more markets over here. So we're going to design those markets in just a few seconds time. Plenty of space up here. If you've got any ideas what should be up here, then let me know. I think up here we're going to have some watchtowers and forts and kind of some more army stuff as well. I think this little kind of mini, mini, mini village, which is a, there is a tutorial on, is going to be rotated, I think, so the water comes kind of down from the hill that way. I'm going to get rid of this wall here as well. Plenty of space here and here and in there for more houses and buildings and all sorts. Um, I am aware at the back here that I've chopped off some of the stairs as well but there's so much space in the village now or the town we can really expand over here in this direction around here loads and loads of space and we can even go back down towards the water and have maybe another kind of dock or something over there maybe some sort of military dock uh, navy would be quite good anyway 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 let's do a little market here then we can kind of stack these markets along the way um, so I've been working on this kind of off camera I've come up with a couple of ideas let me see if I can kind of recreate what I came up with um, no let's come here with this so I'm thinking little market stalls like this dun, 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 like that and then these can come up like that little supporting things like this and then these can just come across like this and little awnings I think would be quite cool little kind of um, shady areas that doesn't sound right that sounds like it's dodgy a shady area an area uh, full of shade <laughs> um, that you could 
just have a little bit of respite from the, the sun and keep all your goods dry as well if you're the kind of person who runs one of the stalls, one of the markets. So if you've got any good ideas for this market, let me know. I can maybe incorporate it as well. I'm going to stack that. Oops. I'm going to stack that across the way like that. There we go. And then we're going to go for some coloured... Um, I don't want to put my fruit down because I want the fruit to be what this whole thing is about. So these, these stalls, these markets can be selling uh, different things, I think. Um, we already have a market in the town, but the town is growing, so I think we need more more markets. And I'm really happy with these, um, these little archways. I think it's a great way of um, dealing with the fact that I had two different levels, a level of the town hall and the level, well, this this level up here as well. So it's kind of awkward. I didn't want to slope. I wanted something a bit more formal. It's kind of almost the formal part of the, the town. So here we go. And one more, there we go. And then on the inside, I'm gonna go for something really quite simple. Indeed, just put these around here like that and then maybe a bit higher, is that right? Yeah, and then like that. I think that's gonna look kind of cool. And then this is gonna be fruit. We're gonna be selling fruit. So here's some oranges. We've got some cherries, because <laughs> they go together. Um, and then we can even have some kind of shelves across here. I don't know if I can place fruit onto these. I can. So we've got, what, what are these? These are apples. Maybe have some more apples over here. And so the person in charge of this place in tomatoes can really keep an eye on the fruit, what they're selling as well. Um, what else can we put here though? Maybe some signs and things would be quite good. Um, let's have uh, some signs, maybe some item frames. That would be the kind of thing to have. So we've got um, a little sign. Where can we have this kind of hanging up here? Can we put it right here? Um, uh, A seeds fruit seller. There we go. He's uh, He or she is selling the fruit. And there's a little kind of a storeroom back here as well. And what we could do is maybe provide a bit of a roof on the storeroom as well. Like that. And then maybe in the storeroom you would have things like some shelvings and maybe some more light up here. And things just like um, chests, I think, would be quite good. Have a few chests. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe a sink as well. Let's grab a sink. And some water buckets. Sink. And water. Maybe some, some counters. Maybe some nice polished granite counters would look kind of cool. I think like that kind of thing. And yeah, not bad, is it? Not bad. Super simple. Really easy. I wonder... I wonder if we do this on the inside of these things. Maybe that would look kind of cool. Just a little bit of detail on the inside. Yeah, that's a little smidgen of detail, which I do like. And there you go. That is one market. I'm going to build uh, lots more. Be right back when that is done. There you go. It is done. This little market sells chests. This little market went to piggy. This little market went to diamonds. This little market was cakes and melons, because that's a good combo, right? This is the... Uh, the uh, pumpkin station, and then this is uh, iron and rock and ores and stuff. Don't ask, okay? Don't judge, don't judge. Okay, what I want to do now is lay out, um, I think, where the tavern should be. So let's give this a go. I'm going to mark this kind of out in, in yellow wool. Let's just see how far we get. Um, I want it kind of 20 wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 20. Hmm, I definitely want to push this over a little touch. This is going to be the tavern, not a tavern, the inn, the inn where people can stay. I guess there'll be a tavern inside it. Slash, slash, move five, like that. Um, and let's make it quite long as well. Slash, slash, stack. That was 20. Let's go 40 at least. That's huge. <laughs> That's a little big. Um, I do want a big, 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 big inn. An impressive inn. I've been inspired by a builder, Ducking, Ducking, Ducking Red or something. I can't remember what his name was. Sorry about that, uh, Ducking. But um, I've been kind of inspired by uh, his take on kind of a medieval tavern. So I thought I would do the same sort of design 
Um, no, not the same design, but just take inspiration from from his design. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That kind of works out nicely, actually. That actually works out really nicely. Can we just puppy and case this over to the other side? So we're going to go slush, slush, copy, and slush, slush. Paste. This is not going to make any sense whatsoever. But this is the, this is the plan, right? This is the plan. Let me show you. What we're going to have here is uh, over here is going to be kind of a, a the living accommodation over here, kind of just something like that sticking out. Boom, 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 boom. This is going to be the living accommodation for the people who live and run the inn themselves, the innkeeper and their partner, like that. That would go there, I think. And then round here, <coughs> I'm going to have some sort of porch that kind of runs round where people can kind of sit out with their beers and so on. We've got a gap of four, so let's go... One, two, three, four, like that, and it's come around here. Like that, that's going to come around like that, so that's going to be over there. Boom, 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 boom. And there's going to be a massive chimney right in the middle. Um, did I make it 20 wide? That's often a bad thing to do, an even, an even number. Hmm. I made it 20. Let's, let's push it out, push it out by one. Uh, like this slash slash move one. But I'm not going to build it in this episode, guys. I think this is going to be a nice time lapse or maybe even a tutorial. Um, so I'm going to leave this episode pretty much where I am. There's going to be another chimney coming up here. Uh, a chimney coming up here. There's going to be kind of two levels to this place as well. It's going to come up here like that something one two three four something like that there's going to be another level up here one two three four and this is going to come across somehow and then this is where there's going to be kind of an upper balcony area i think with rooms one two three four four for the rooms and then one for the balcony and then a gap a gap 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 right across no the balcony needs to be three this is going to look super weird and you won't be able to follow what I'm planning in my head, but just trust me. Trust me on this one. <laughs> no way, we don't trust you. Um, <coughs> that's going to come across there like that, excuse me. Um, and then one, two, three, four. That's going to be the rooms and then the balcony. That's going to be a big gap down the middle. So what I want on the bottom floor is a big tavern, seating area, bar, and then go up a level and you've got this kind of balcony here where you can look down to the people drinking and then you can go into your rooms and the rooms are going to just like be four by four little rooms like that all the way along. So that's a very, very rough plan of the inn and I think maybe like an archway here would be quite good, kind of an archway with a road coming along here and just plowing through here and coming along the back here and then maybe some stables Ooh, maybe some stables over here would be quite good hello piggy um, so that's going to be a very very rough plan but I'm going to speed build this plan in the next episode thank you so much for watching this episode a little bit of progress today in terms of just setting out the village making some spaces where extra builds can go uh, I've got a few things to rearrange um, let me show you what I did with the what I did with the carpenters not the carpenters, the woodcutters. The woodcutters place is now way over here. I moved it, so the woodcutters is going to be here. I need to add some trees and maybe some sort of path back in to the village. But that'll do for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to get involved in the comments, and I'll try and build as many of your ideas. Apologies if I can't build your idea. Some of the ideas are really good, but I can't do them. Uh, so apologies if your idea doesn't get done. In time for the next episode, I'll put another market across here as well. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so, so much for watching. Take care for now. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you later. Ciao, ciao. In the blocks, be with you.